Hi everybody and welcome to a quick autofocus test on the Panasonic G80 stroke G85. I am using the onboard microphones as well and I am in the kitchen um, but obviously it's a test of the autofocus and I have got it on face detection. I have got my iPad here in front of me as well um, but to be honest I probably don't need that. Um, we're shooting at ISO 800 f2.8 at 1 25th of a second which uh, sorry I thought I'd stopped recording then because oh my display on my camera's now gone off because it's transmitting to this um, so I will walk up and we'll just see if that's focusing right yeah it did hesitate there but I mean to be fair I think I need to look into the camera yeah look it's not oh it's very slow there I'll just back up a bit that seems in focus I think. Back up a bit more now. Whoops. And we'll just back up a bit more. I'll hold the iPad here and see if it can keep um, on my face. Right, I'll put the iPad down now because we know it's recording. Um, so we'll just have another little walk in here. Now this is merely a test. It could be blurred now. I don't know. Um, I'm not looking at the iPad anymore because it's putting me off. I am about, if I just, I'm about arm's length away from the camera. I'll come in a bit closer. I'll just have a look at the iPad there. Um, we'll see if that's got me now. Um, sorry about the poor light. I'm getting a bit of a rim light from me LED lights in the kitchen. I'll just show you. There's the rim light. We'll put the rim light back on. Um, and then I'm using the window, which is just behind the camera, to fill me. Um, so I'll just back up to something more of a reasonable frame. Now I assume for this face detection to work that I can't sit going like this because it might get a bit confused. Although it is saying on the iPad it's it's on my nearest uh, this eye. Um, but we'll just turn now and look at the camera. So this is the onboard microphone. Also ISO 800, we'll have a little look at that. Um, I am using the 12-35 f2.8 OS lens. I'll just mess about now, I'll just keep looking at the iPad up, and then we'll just have a look over here. So now we've got a bit of burnout now because I'm right underneath the uh, rim light. So I'll just walk in a bit and we want the rim just to be on the air. That's about right now. How's about that for a free studio setup? <laughs> um, window light and um, LED light which is meant to be pretty much daylight balance but there you go. We'll just come in now for a nice close up and we'll stand here. Now I am at 35mm on the camera so it's really zoomed in. I think I'm at 35mm. So what we'll do now, we'll just, I don't know, right okay I don't know if I was at 35mm before that. I mean, so this is 35mm at about, I'll just stand in now, I can just touch my lens hood when I'm fully stretched out with my arm. So I can't see if that's in focus. If it is it should look quite good at blurring the rest of the kitchen out. It's a good place to do a video, but I don't know if it is. And um, we'll just back up um, a little bit. I'll just take a look at the iPad. The framing looks really nice on the iPad, but is it in focus? Um, I will tell you now with the app, if I want to, I can change the focus so that I can touch the screen once and it will focus on my face. And that's it. Um, and that's what I will do for the YouTube video, but I am testing the face detection to see how it would get on at a wedding. Say that this was now, and to be honest, I probably won't frame it this tight without going manual focus because I won't want to trust it. Yeah, but let's, I'm going to burn myself out with that light. I know I'm going to go back as far as I dare before the light starts burning me out. I'll just come back into about there. So hopefully, I mean, this now should be able to pick up my face easy. I'm still at 35 millimeter. We are using the onboard audio, so sorry about the, if it is, it will be rubbish I assume, but let's just see how it goes. Right, I'm now going to zoom out to 12mm. Um, so we're at 12mm now, um, I'll just come to about an arm's length away, right, if you'll just see the camera move now. I'm just about an arm's length away from the camera now, which is probably vlogging style, where, where you'd be. Well, no, if I was vlogging, I'd, I'd probably have it here now, um, back there. Um, so that should look cool. Is it tracking? I don't know, we'll find out later, but I'll slowly just stand here quickly and see how it gets on tracking me. Now again, I assume for this to work I've got to be looking at the camera. If I start looking like this at this cup, 
I'm assuming that it's going to probably lose focus until I turn around now. So we'll come in now. Um, I'm going to now look away at the floor. I don't know if it's still on this eye. I won't have a clue. But now we're going to turn around. And let's see if it can grab. I'm looking directly into the centre of the lens. The camera's just under eye level. But near enough eye level. Um, yeah, we'll come in and we'll just stop. And we'll talk about YouTube and how great it is. And is the G85 face tracking any good? Just for the final test, we'll go back into 35mm. Um, and I'm just going to sort of stand just where the... Just so I don't get burned out. Right, now we're back at 35mm, but I'm a fair... I'm probably two, maybe three arm lengths distance away. Um, I would have thought that... It, it should focus on me now, even though it is quite a tight frame. There's um, there's nothing. I know, just put my arm out here. Wrong arm. <laughs> right, we'll just go like that just to see if I can confuse the camera. We'll just go like that just to see if it is. I don't know if it is focused. I can't. I can look at the iPad, but I'll just look at it on the PC. Um, just to see if it gets confused with the arm. Right, so that's it. There's no point going on for too long. We'll take a look on PC and we'll see if the face detection is reliable enough to be good for a, for a I don't know, professional use. Uh, just just before I go, I'll just duck down about there. Just before I go again, I would like to mention that it is not very good lighting here at the minute. Um, obviously, I'm at 25th of a second f2.8 ISO 800. That tells you that it's quite low light. I'm going to now just bob into the garden using the onboard mics again. I'll have to make this quick because the onboard microphones might pick up the wind. But I'll just back up now. And we are at 35mm um, and obviously we're in the garden. I'm just going to um, just up that aperture to a 5.6. Right, I've just up my aperture to a 5.6 there. I'm still using the iPad. The app's not crashed yet. It's been on for 25 minutes. Um, so now we'll just come in closely. And the face detection box is around my face. Uh, I mean, this is pretty close mug shot. Um, at, it, I don't know if it's fully focused, but we're pretty close in now. I'll just come in a bit closer and take a look at that, see what's happening. Don't forget, push that chin forward. Get rid of that double chin. And let's just take a look. I don't know, back up a bit again and we'll just take a look at that as well. I'll also um, maybe do, I'll need to look at the camera data to get it to focus. I need to keep remembering it. So we'll just sidestep to the left and give it a chance to focus. We'll now sidestep to the right. I don't still know, right, I'm not even in the shot there. So what we'll do is we'll back up now and we'll just widen up the lens. We'll just try 12mm now and I'll stand quite close. Um, wow, the framing is so much different there. Um, we'll just see how 12mm gets on. Uh, wide angle should automatically face detect a lot better. I'll just check I'm still in scene. I'm still in scene now looking at the camera. We'll just see how that goes on. I'll quickly jump forward and go to this side. See how we get on. We'll back up. See how we get on. Give it a couple of seconds to focus because I know it's not Canon's dual pixel technology. We'll just come up here now. Don't know what that looks like, but we'll um, see what happens. Should be a bit distorted. We'll Sidestep over here. And that's it. Let's see how the focus got on in good light and in poor light. See if it's any good.